Hello everyone, my name is Ruiz and, uh, and today we're going to talk about uh, how to fly the Pelican. Awesome. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if you have an uh, Xbox controller that instead, but it's doable. Uh, I'm uh, trying to go around a little and I can make this bad boy fly. Let's go inside. And I press the end button on my keyboard. It's uh, to the right. And if you have a numpad, it's middle above the um a nice little thing is when you when you're inside the pelican uh, you can press e oh, oh wrong q and you will switch uh, around a little bit and now you will see the back door and if you press the e pad here you can open up and you can also put on the free cam and you can uh, probably go back out there and also open the hatch over there, there but my camera the free cam has bugged out i can't really put on a free cam however i try but i think I go in there and open everything but yeah nice little touch and if you need help with the parking brake it's the cdtrl and that's down the left and then decimal sign on your numpad that's how you release the parking otherwise you should that's what parking and uh, we will start our flight over mode but we can also spawn and we will uh, be in a freeze mode i have issues i always crash but let's start to get this bad boy up so we put back on hover mode and should it be outside because it's uh, just easier for all of you so I press the end key and uh, now I press F3 key. There we go. I press B, um, my keyboard, and those bad boys are in. Um, I decide to press F2 to uh, lower my throttle a little bit. I press N to get inside. You can also manually adjust your throttle. And here you also have a fuel wall of cross feed. Uh, and going to that, but I skip all of that very much. We'll go back outside. And now, if I press a number eight, I will go forward. But it's cruise speed. But I, I think it's a pretty fun way to just cruise around the uh, middle, middle of the city oh yeah uh, I'm not landing and uh, we can just give more throttle if we want to go further up and we lower throttle a little bit to go to the sides we can use four Believe it or not, uh, it looks silly, but we are going uh, to the right. And if we plus number six, we will uh, go uh, um, to the right and four to the left. And we can uh, combine uh, by pressing number eight and number four, and we will uh, go like. But uh, what do you want to do now? If you actually want to uh, use your enter key, and you can uh, just spin around. Uh, that's spinning around in a circle and uh, if you press number zero you spin to the other other side so now we will use number eight and then we will just adjust where we're going by pressing zero and enter and you could uh, do some tapping because if you do it too much you will just spin around in a circle and uh, it's just chaos I will adjust the rudder a little bit. But yeah, it's not perfect. But uh, at least now you can get the aircraft up in the air. And uh, the issue I have when I switch uh, cruise mode, uh, I will drop in altitude quick. And we will uh, and, uh, do a nose dive. Because this jets. It's um, a bad angle, automatically. I'm, I can show you. Press end, we go inside, I flip. 
and here we see on the, these they go in and flip it back and they are straightened out press on the number two to get the right angle on it but when i press number two when i flip that switch it doesn't really work Oh, it does. Okay, you just have to press it. Uh, you have to press number two quite hard. Then you won't do the nose dive. So, Squawk Steve. One, two, oh. zero, zero. Frequency change approved. So, I wouldn't recommend this, but it's doable. Uh, I see. Boston okay, I'm, I'm, I'm holding down num number two. <laughs> it's chaos. It, it's, this is so, so much chaos. Uh, I will maybe make the same video, but I will make it with... A sweet, sweet Xbox controller instead. And let's see if... There we go. Ah, oh, see, no no crash. We put ourselves in a hover mode. And, yeah, I will alter... Uh, my fly, uh, the angle a little bit, so... So pretty much, uh, where are we? And that's pretty much the video, how you get this bad boy up, up and running. And yeah, uh, you will be using your numpad. And with 8462, that's a uh, piece you will be using. And uh, when you hold number 5, you, you saw my uh, Pelican did the ne neutralize. And it's uh, like a neutral, not neutral, like no angles or anything and then i can adjust trim on seven and one if you want to adjust that one here so i will just hold uh, number one it will get higher than and the number seven it will get lower doesn't matter much with this aircraft and with f2 and f3 then you give it more or less throttle uh, G that uh, you can put on uh, so we can land and then it is zero and enter on your gun pad that will uh, make the aircraft turn a certain way and when you hold five it might Let's do here craft a good and if you want to land uh, go for and go for it uh, remember to press G but yeah uh, when you put into the end, end key you switch between uh, this and that and when you press so you go into uh, cruise it's the number two key you want to uh, press in. One, two, four, decimal four for oh yeah, See, six, this nine, is what's nine. happening. Boston approach. W -H it did work the last time, but it's a struggle. <laughs>